A one gotta go. I love these. I think these are super fun. Uh, the best ones make you make an actual tough decision, right? I've seen one gotta goes, and people are like, Keith Sweat, Michael Jackson, you know, Britney Spears, <laughs> and like Lou Ferrigno or something. It was like, man, bro, this is pretty easy. Like, this is not a difficult decision. So, the best one gotta goes make you make a hard decision. So, I wanna start with uh, John. One gotta go. Mac Jones, Justin Herbert, Kyler Murray, especially coming off this this uh, recent performance. I mean, we don't want to be too much of a prisoner at the moment. And Josh Allen or Josh Allen. Which one has to go and tell me why, sir? Yeah, I'm going to roll with Hit Me Baby one more time. Uh, are we not doing the music? <laughs> <laughs> don't you. Don't I'm you. Stick, stick with Brittany. Brittany. Free Brittany. Um, I think that happened. Someone check that. Uh, for this question, so this is actually interesting because I've seen – all of these guys, except Kyler Murray at the Senior Bowl, heading into the draft, so that's pretty cool. Um, I, it's pretty easy for me, and I would say Mac Jones, and it's not because I just really think that Mac Jones cannot be a good player, but if I'm just going on based on everything I know right now, like I'm taking the other three all day. Um, Josh Allen, strong arm. He had over 100 rushing yards against the Bucks, ran all over them, played through a hurt ankle. Um, even though Kyler struggled last night, I still like him. Uh, and especially with the way the new NFL rules are, I feel like it's, he's going to be preserved. It's not like 10 years ago where you have to really worry about that frame and that size as much. And then Herbert, um, I still have faith in him. Um, could be one of the most, like you're just saying pure talent, could be like the most accurate, best passer of this group. Um, and I still like his his upside there with the Chargers. Gotcha, gotcha. What about you, Mr. Ezen? I know you're, uh, well, you know, I'm not even going <laughs> to oh, uh, say it. <laughs> I just have to say that, like, if this was a Miss Universe pageant, right, you, you go to L.A., ooh, you got Miss California, yeah, Justin Herbert, sexy, yeah. Josh Allen, Miss New York, wow, broad shoulders, really nice. Wait a minute, like Miss what New you York, got did you, watch, you must not have watched Flavor of Love. You just said Miss New York. I don't think you would have included that, but it's okay. Yeah, you know, but <laughs> and then you go to Kyler Murray, Arizona out there, that's nice with the desert. But I got to tell you, Mac Jones would be like Miss South Dakota, maybe. You know, it just it's just not there. The quite frankly is just, just lost the Midwest viewers. Yeah, yeah. We just lost the Midwest. I apologize. But no the least talented, least arm strength, least sex appeal. I need something with sizzle, something with some zest. And unfortunately, Matt Jones doesn't get it done. The three passes, I'm sorry, it just doesn't do it for me. I keep love the job rocket launcher surgically attached to his shoulder kyler murray and the wiggle the dual threat ability and justin herbert did you see that rainbow shot to guyton oh my lanta i mean he sent that from the east coast to the west coast it was a rainbow toss that made us all go ooh ah mac jones he threw a terrible pass to johnny smith who somehow hobbled it in in a windstorm i'm sorry it just doesn't do it for me so if one has to go it's mac jones and it's just not even close, quite frankly. But you know what? I have to give credit where credit's due because I've torn this guy apart, okay? Is that Mac Jones? Way to be the quarterback for a team that's first place in the AFC East, first place in the AFC. I mean, somebody's got to play the quarterback position, and, well, he's the one that was selected to do it. Wow. I thought that was quite uh, just extreme on uh, McCorkle, and I don't think that you necessarily had to do that. <laughs> Yes, sir. I have, a question. Uh, have you not seen the the? Can I submit the shirtless photos of Mac Jones for evidence? Oh, no, I've seen on. those. That's no, not, the the odds actually to you. Yeah. We've seen those. Not, We've not seen those. We around. actually don't want to ever see those again. But thanks. Okay, just check. That's, yeah, just, just check. Out, just check. Just check. It. So, so I, I, and I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna go to Ryan after this, and, and I might surprise you guys a little bit with this. I, I really might. For my personal taste here, right? For my personal taste, I would have to say my one got to go would be um, Josh Allen. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I love Josh Allen's arm. <laughs> I love Josh Allen's arm. I love his size and athleticism. But I don't think that between the ears, he gives your team the same chance to win each week 
that so here's the thing when we're talking about one gotta go i i am considering career trajectory i am con- considering where they i'm not talking about like right now i i thought that was pretty obvious and that we not wouldn't just be talking about like right now and and i purposely selected young quarterbacks so that we could all still be evaluating future the future aspect of them right so if you ask me in five years who will be the better quarterback mac jones or john or josh allen i i think it's going to be mac jones mm. i think it's going to be mac jones i think mac jones will be a better quarterback in five years than josh allen there is something to be said for one is, is his accuracy to his decision making, which is already at a veteran level for the most part. I mean, there is no quarterback in the NFL that doesn't make a bad throw. There isn't a quarterback in, in the NFL that doesn't make a poor read here or there. And that leads to, a, 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 you know, an ill-advised throw. Some of, you know, the better quarterbacks get away with it a little bit more than the others. But Mac Jones is making quite possibly the fewest amount of errors I've ever seen a rookie quarterback make who gets an opportunity to play every down, every game. I've never, I don't know that I've ever seen a rookie quarterback play this mistake free. Who has played this much? Uh, Maybe Roethlisberger. But this is, to me, just the beginning of what Mac Jones is going to be. And I don't think any of the four guys here are going to suck. But If you give me, you also have to consider this. Josh Allen is throwing to one of the best wide receivers in the league and another very good wide receiver in Cole Beasley. There is no one for the Patriots in Stephon Diggs' stratosphere. Nobody. So to me, all of those factors kind of play in. So you can look at statistics and you can look at all that stuff, but I think some of that is warped by the supporting cast or the weapons that Josh Allen is throwing to. And some of it is warped by the fact that Mac Jones is still very early in his career and he hasn't even been completely turned loose yet. So for me, my one got to go is Josh Allen. It's a tough decision for me, but I would say Josh Allen. Mr. Well, you know what? I'm dying to hear what Mr. Esden has because he's just emoting over there. So I would I have to hear it. You can skip me. You can go right <laughs> you can skip, can't me. skip him. Skip me. You can go right to him again. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm just, just, I just, just a comment, real quick. I just, uh, you know, the thing, like, so the the hot, sexy thing has been let Russ cook, let this guy cook. Like, does Mac Jones is he even capable of toasting bread? Like, you know, you, you said we haven't let him loose yet. What does that even mean? Can, is there a loose to be done? Because again, I, again, I, I think if you need a two yard pass. Matt Jones, your guy. I mean, he he has it. He will not make a mistake. He's got it more than anybody else. So, you know what? I, I love that. I love that he hasn't made a lot of mistakes. No, he's been spot on. He he has nailed it. Did you see those three pass against New England? Nailed it. Absolutely beautiful. Man, what faith by organization. Let's get let's th- let's let him throw it three times and then that's it. Great faith. Wow. Uh, I really love that from New England. They believe – you asked that question to old uh, Bill Belichick, five years, who do you want? He goes, of course, Mac Jones, baby. Look what we did on Monday Night Football. Look at that game plan. We believe in our guy, the offensive rookie of the year, Mac Jones. Woohoo! Unbelievable. I just, if this is not the <clears throat> rant of a disgruntled Jets fan, oh, I, I have never seen one in my life. Woo! This is all hey. this is. And so here's the thing. You keep harping – on this one poor um, it's not even a poor performance they won they won so it wasn't two win. passes but they won we so all lost the, really the, 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 the other thing that you it, it, to be honest that wasn't even really a normal football game so i wouldn't even judge that by anything that was like playing madden with all of the wind sliders up and all of the <laughs> passing accuracy turned all the way down that wasn't even a real game I give credit to Belichick and his and his staff for coming up with the right game plan to win that game, which is what their job was that night. But it's not a, a game you can accurately or logically evaluate a quarterback in. And I'm not holding anything against Josh Allen for that game either. He only completed 50% of his pass. But we you can talk about how safely they're dealing with Mac Jones, and there is some truth to that. 
But also, I think what's not getting recognized is how much he is playing a part in in sliding protections for run plays, how many decisions like he's getting a lot of stuff placed on his plate that you normally don't see a rookie quarterback getting. He's having he's having an impact on the direction of the offense to a degree. And we're talking about one of the most control freak micromanaged offenses in the league for the most part unless tom brady's the guy this is how this is how this i mean this is how this functions with this team but they are giving just so much freedom or a certain level of freedom and a certain level of say so in the direction of the offense to a rookie and as a matter of fact if you watch them each week each week he's seemingly getting more and more that he's being able to do. So I'm going to tell you, you definitely need to watch this game coming up against the Colts because all signs are pointing to they're going to load up on the run and dare Mac Jones to beat them. That's Now, Brian Okariki could be just blowing smoke, but I'm starting to get the feeling that this is what the concept is going to be. And we're going to find out. I have a feeling Mac Jones might have an opportunity to put up one of his better passing games of the season. Um, so we're going to see. But I don't – this is not a slighted Josh Allen. It might sound like that. Uh, I think Josh Allen's going to go to a few more Pro Bowls. But I think that Mac Jones is going to be one of those guys with a higher winning percentage. I think he's going to be a guy who has a higher completion percentage. He's going to put up some monster years if he ever gets some – think about it, man. The best receiver on this team is Nelson freaking Aguilar, man. <laughs> like, that's the best receiver on this team. Like, Nikhil Harry. Nikhil Harry's on this team working as a crack blocker. Hmm. It, I, yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, Kendrick Bourne is, is – and I'll, I love Kendrick Bourne. He's fantastic energy, all of that stuff. But he's playing a major – man, come on. You look at – like, uh, Ryan Sanudo is one of the – is like the fifth wide receiver on this team. So, come <laughs> on. Can we – can we can we can we give some love here? All can right. I so, uh, can I get my take in? Can we let see that? Look I, at you, Paul. Look at you, Paul. I I just, you, got you, got time. you got your time, Paul. You got your time, Paul. I, I, I fully. I'm, I'll talk about the beauty pageants, though. You said what was the state? South Dakota. I'm going to say Idaho for Mac yeah, Jones. Idaho. I'm going to yes. give Idaho for Mac Jones. Um, yeah, if we were talking Josh Allen from 2019, I, I fully agree. Mac Jones over 2019. Oh, no, 2018. Uh, Josh Allen, I think he had, what, 10 touchdowns, 12 picks, 52% completion percentage that year. But Mac Jones, man, like, I, I only wrote one word for this segment. I put, huh? Like, wow. What, what are we doing here? Mac Jones wow. and with these three guys, Justin Herbert, Kyler Murray, Josh Allen. It's a total disgrace that he's even in this conversation. Wow. I mean, I, I fully agree with you, Brian, that he's making an impact in terms of accuracy, blah, blah, blah. But man, Herbert, you saw him against the Giants and forget the Giants. They're, they're clown shows, but other games, he's lights out. Kyler Murray before this week, he's lights out. Josh Allen. You know, he's had his ups and downs this year, but come on. We're, we're really starting to overreact with this Mac Jones hysteria this year. Let, let's let's simmer down a little bit. I didn't even have to put stats because I'm sure our viewers know how, you know, the, they're, they're educated <laughs> with these uh, guys. You know, let, let's, let's back away. You know, I get it. Trevor Lawrence, Wilson, all those other rookies have stunk this year. But, man, Mac, th this this – Mac Jones should be compared to maybe I would say I'm I'm trying to give a good example maybe Carson Wentz what or someone like that in the mid tier like high. and I'm being nice by the way I'm being nice so being yeah that's too high I'm being nice too so. that is insane okay so Mac, so you you brought up stats Mac Jones is right now on pace for three thousand five hundred thirty one yards wow. passing this year as a rookie. Okay, okay. okay. So, so we're not comparing that to Josh Allen in twenty twenty. I think it'd be more fair to compare that to Josh Allen in twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. Oh, twenty eighteen. Yeah. Josh Allen threw for two thousand seventy four yards. He only played in twelve games, but that's what he threw for in twenty nineteen, which it was still his second season in the league, and we're talking about Mac Jones' rookie year. Uh, Buffalo for Buffalo, he played in all 16 games, 3,089 yards, 20 touchdown passes, nine interceptions. Matt Jones is going to exceed those numbers pretty. I'm you're it's a pretty safe bet. 
so in his rookie season, he's more than likely going to lead a team to a better record, even though Buffalo was 10 and 6 that year. The Patriots are already 9 and 4. Uh, the numbers are going to be better. And these are the basic numbers. These don't tell the complete story, but these are the basic numbers. I, I don't see how I, I can understand you saying that you take Josh Allen. I understand that. But to say what? Like it doesn't even belong. I think you're not foreshadowing enough about Mac Jones with this, with this, in this conversation. I mean, not a lot of rookie quarterbacks who play all 16 games are able to help lead their teams to a winning record, let alone uh, what might end up being the best record in the AFC, throw for over 3,500 yards and have like a more a two-to-one inter- touchdown interception ratio. That doesn't happen a lot. It certainly didn't happen with Josh Allen. So to say that it makes no sense to me is, in my Mike Tyson voice, ludicrous. <laughs> Read the rushing numbers. Read the rushing numbers. Oh yeah, that 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 obviously. I I mean, that's that's that's. uh, I mean, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. But you read the win loss numbers too. Oh, that that matters too. Hashtag QB wins. Hashtag QB wins. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. Oh my god, that pissed me off. I'm I forgot. You know, nobody in in, in, no Jets fan knows anything about win loss records. They don't like those. (laughs) 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 They don't like those to be entered into the conversation because you know we got you know Chad Pennington's running around here. 